very hard to make an accurate estimate, but there are several circumstantial things. Instance, uh, Center for Media Studies and uh, Transparency International did some study about the retail corruption. What the citizen pays is such a small amount in the the retail corruption for the service delivery. Similarly, uh, we have uh, some idea of the elections, uh, election expenditure, legitimate expenditure, and money is made by politicians. And uh, there are many other such secondary sources. You cannot prove them. I cannot, for instance, establish uh, by evidence that we stand in a court of law. But I would say, in the national economy of the order of about now 60,000 crores, or 60, 60 lakh crores now, Indian GDP, there are about 60, 65 lakh crores in that, roughly between 300,000 crores to 500,000 crores gets siphoned off. It's not that public money is going away right away. That much money is not going away from the government. It is that the people are forced to pay. You see, corruption does not mean that you take away the government money. Corruption means you use governmental power to force people to pay rent for a small little thing like a birth certificate or a ration card or a driving license, to a spectrum or land allocation or a mining license, to um, changing the land use in a city, to for the citizen, the water connection to, so no, the whole range of things if you take, easily it will come to about 300,000 crores per year, 3 lakh crores to 5 lakh.